Hi, for this video I want to show you how to do long division when you're dealing with decimals. So when you're dealing with decimals, the first thing that you want to do is you want to take the divisor and get rid of um, any decimal places. So what we want to do is we want to move this over one place to the right, which would essentially make this 45. But if I change this by a factor of 10, I have to change the part underneath um, the division symbol also. So I have to move this one over and that's where we would put our decimal place for our answer. So the decimal place, if you move it out here, you have to move it inside as well. Once you've moved it and you start dividing, you're really doing 364.5 divided by 45. It just makes it easier for your answer. All right, so now when we start dividing, we're gonna first start with 45 into 30. We know that that doesn't work, so that's going to be a zero. 45 into 36 is also a zero because of the fact that 36 is smaller than 45. So now we're gonna look at the first three numbers, 364, and we're gonna figure out how many times this goes into here. So for a lot of people, they struggle with this part here. If you break it down to kind of help get a value first, just take four into 36. Just take the first number into the first two numbers since we're dealing with three, and we know that that would be nine. So if I take nine times five, that gives me 45. And then if I add it, if I add a four into nine times four, it's gonna get me past 36 because nine times four is exactly 36. So nine times four alone would get me to 36, but since I have the five and I have to carry, so if you're struggling with following me in your head, I'm doing 45 times nine. Nine times 45 gives me, first the nine times five gives me 45, and then when I carry this, this puts me at 405. So I went way over, which is what I was trying to say without showing you, but sometimes people need the visual to help them understand. All right, so we know that nine is too large, so let's try eight. And again with this, if you do eight times 45, if you need to off on the side of your paper, write this out, that's fine. Eventually you get to the point where you can do this in your head. So eight times five would give me 40. And then eight times four would give me 32 plus four gives me 36. So we can see that 360 is smaller than 364. So like I said, if you need to write this off on your side of, write this on the side of your paper, you can. Otherwise, you can just do it in your head. Eight times five is 40. Carry the four, eight times four is 32, plus four is 36. So some people have trouble with that, which is why I recommend just writing it off to the side of your paper. Now let's subtract. So if I subtract this, the 36's cancel out, so I get zero, zero, four minus zero is four. So now we would just bring down our last number, which is the 45, and so we can see that 45 goes into 45 one time, but because, remember, we put that first decimal point, we end up with 8.1 as our answer. If you wanted to check your work by hand, you always can by doing 4.5, the original one, times 8.1, and then when I multiply, I'm just going to ignore the decimals for the time being, and then I'll put them in in my answer in just one second. So 1 times 5 gives me 5. 1 times 4 gives me 45. Remember that we have to add a 0 for the next one because we're going into the tens place. In this case, it's the ones place because these are tenths, but we multiply by 10. So 8 times 5 gives me 40. Carry the 4. 8 times 4 is 32 plus 4 is 36. And so then if I add this together, we get 30, 3, 6, 4, 5. And because there were one, two decimal places in here, that tells me that I need two decimal places, which shows me that this is what I started with. So if you need to check, that's how you would check. All right, let's go into the second one that we have here. For this one, I did add an additional situation that can happen with decimals, so I'll talk about it as it comes up. First step is to move your decimal two places to the right because it was two places to the left here. So my answer is going to have a decimal after the ones place. All right, 
So now let's get started with this. Again, we're going to take and we're going to see how many times does 2 go into, and we'll start with the first number. So 24 into 4 gives me 0. 24 into 49. So I'm going to look at the 2 and the 4. And I know that 2 goes into 4 2 times, so I'm going to just try it. If I look at this, 2 times 4 gives me 8, which is smaller than 9, so I know that this is going to work. So I would just get 48, and then when I subtract, I get 1, and I'm going to bring down my 8. And so if you look at this, 18 is smaller than 24, so I'm going to put a 0 here. But I'm not done because of the fact that I have decimals, so I don't want to write my answer as a fraction. I don't want to just say remainder 18 because I'm dealing with decimals. So what I have to do is I have to add an additional zero at the end of this after the decimal place so that I can go ahead and continue dividing. So now I'm going to take 24 into 180. So again, I can start with the 9, but when I multiply 9 times 4, that's going to make it larger. So if I do 24 times 9, and I would just do this in my head, but I'm showing just so that you guys can see it. 9 times 4 is 36, and then if I carry this, it gives me 216. So I can see that's too big. So that was a good starting point, but it's too big. All right, so the next one that we would try is 8 times 24. And 8 times 4 again gives me 32, which is going to make it a little bit bigger than this. It's going to put it in the 190s. So for this one, we would again go one smaller. And I know that this one works, so let me go ahead and put this as a 7. 7 times 4 ends up giving me 28, carry the 2, 7 times 2 is 14, 14 plus 2 gives me 16. So then we would subtract this out. These cancel, I have to borrow from here so that I can subtract 10 minus 8 which gives me 2, 7 minus 6 gives me 1, and again I have to keep repeating this process until it ends, or I get until the number of decimal places that it tells you to approximate to. So it might tell you to round to three decimal places, so you'd have to do this out three times if necessary. All right, so for this last one, let me erase this two since that was from the last problem. We can start with two goes into 125 times, so let's go ahead and try that. Let's see what happens if I multiply by five. Five times four gives me 20. If I carry the two, I get five times two, which is 10 plus two gives me 120. So we finally got to a point where we ended with a zero, so this would be my final answer. And like I said before, if you needed to check, you would just multiply 20.75 times 0.24 and see if you end up with 4.98. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.